Good evening, gentlemen, and welcome once again to Mines. Today I'm going to be attacking you through the uh, fight for the Colodonos medal that I had on Mines not so long ago. Now, just to say um, that there is a live version of this game up that I put up a couple of days ago. If you haven't seen that, I will put the link to it in the description. I can recommend you watching the live version first, as I'm going to completely ruin it for you here. I'm playing in the A44, uh, which is probably, well, is undoubtedly the, the best armoured tier 7 medium tank in the game and can allow you to make some very, very aggressive plays with the 150mm of frontal armour on this tank, although it's only actually 150 on this frontal bar in the middle of the plate, it's 80 at the side and 90 everywhere on the turret, this is a thoroughly impressively armoured medium tank and so aggression is my mentality as a medium tank on mines my, my job is basically to take the hill I would rather have done it without a driving performance like that but um, we're gonna get a bit of luck here plenty shot into the yard camp there just completely misses us and the RT missing now I'm going to guard the hill on mines as the most important position in the entire map. And I'm side scraping here, managing to bounce a shot off the air panther there. Very old shot to bounce, but you can see the kind of shot that he's got at me here. That's 80mm of side armor. If he shoots that, it's going to bounce clean off. And that's the ability of the A44 only. There's no other medium tank at the kit tier other than the KB-13 which is a very unpopular tank just because it doesn't lead to any tier 8 vehicle it only leads to other tier 7s. There's no other medium tank that would be capable of doing this. I assume the Yag Panther has uh, got a bit of lag which is why I took that shot. Place another shot in, and currently I'm worried about Archie. I do want to finish this guy off Side scraping well, he only succeeds in blowing our tracks off. I'm looking towards where I realize that the RT is located and just praying that nothing comes from the sky to end my game early. Now I'm concerned about the amount of forces that the enemy has sent to the camp. Now, the A44 is not blessed with an overabundance of gun depression, and that's true of the entire line, one of their biggest disadvantages. Uh, this tank line all the way out to the object 430 is the fact that the gun depression is poor on the A44, I believe it's 3 degrees. This turret is in fact fully traversable, it can point backwards, unlike on the 416 and the Object 430 version 2, but 3 degrees all around the tank makes it difficult to work positions like this, but needs must, and I really do need to be doing the job of the medium tank and accessing the flanks of these vehicles and putting out some good damage. VK there, there was no other tier 8, tier 7 medium tank that could have two shot that guy. Now, I'm looking for shots on the AMX here, knowing that I, I can shoot the BDR easily, but the AMX is one of only three tier 7 tanks left on the enemy team, so any damage I could put into him would be very valuable indeed, more so than shooting a tier 5 heavy, heavy tank. So I'm looking to play on tire targets, but it's that lack of gun depression that's just biting me in the ass as I'm trying to... I'm over. I take a wide shot from the archer, but I'm not too concerned about that. BDR bounces off our frontal plate. Armour still holding up very, very well indeed. BDR hides himself. And I'm just considering my options. We bounce the SU-100 with a 122mm gun with 175mm of pen. Bounces clean off. The front of this tier 7 medium tank, you can just see the armour doing us proud. I want to make sure this shot connects because I need to reset the cap and give myself time to work. I'm thinking maybe I can get another shot and that hurt. So I'm thinking if I can hit the tracks of the SU here, we bounce a shot from the AMX down below us shooting up at our upper plate, I imagine. Missing the reset shot. Seeing that the RT is spotted, I'm thinking maybe, but no, he's hiding like the scumbag that he is behind the house. Not sure what the AMX is doing, maybe he's just after the VK. 
But um, that will come... That will be more important later, what the AMX is doing right now. Looking for a shot, and at this point I've already noticed the T-3485 behind each one turning my armor before turning the gun. I think maybe I can get an ambush shot, but no. And so, at this stage of the game, we're down 8-12. If I were to wait, or play at all passively, in this situation, all that's going to happen is the enemy are going to go on your they're going to kill everything else, that RT is going to shoot me, it's going to be a terrible situation. Even more so than it already is, so my only way out of this, and your only way out of situations similar to this, is an aggressive mentality, and luckily, we're in the tier 7 medium tank for that. Now hunt this guy down. You can see the gun depression there just... We went over a tiny little elevation in land and it resulted in us skying the shot clean over and me tank. So I push forward because I think at this point that the AMX is making his way onto the hill and I want to take out this guy early. So I try and ram him to get him down to a one shot but we are unable to do a single point of damage. So at this point, I'm not, I'm not thinking T-3485, I'm thinking AMX M445. Again, this guy is the most dangerous tank left on the enemy team. If he pops up here, he's certainly going to be able to penetrate me. So what I'm trying to do is get this guy into a position where I can use him for cover against the AMX if he comes up. And you see, I'm blocking this guy, pulling back, and trying to kill him. In a position and then reverse behind his corpse in case the AMX pops up on the corner there. As it happens though, AMX doesn't make an appearance. And we're now two versus five. The 234 luring them into the cap circle. And pop up here, be hunting for shots on the AMX. And I spy the Panzer out wide here. I have a clean shot to take this guy out. But again, it's prioritizing targets. This AMX is a fearsome opponent for me. Especially while I'm on this low HP. So, shooting the AMX. Leaving the Panzer 24 alive. But reducing that tier 7 French heavy tank to one shot. And we are now 1 versus 5. Officially fighting for the Kolobanovs. Stug foolishly exposes himself, allowing me to put this 107mm ZIS cannon to work with the highest alpha damage at the tier, I might add. I don't want to stick about here, I know the RT is just aiming in and that could not really have been any closer. <laughs> what a picturesque situation that is. Oh my word, that is in one way beautiful and in another way, another way terrifying. So, <laughs> let us move on. Now, I've got XVM installed. And my XVM at the time was telling me that there were two tanks in the camp, which means one of them has chosen to come after me and attack my position on the hill. And so I'm waiting in ambush because I know that someone is going to come around this corner and the Stug meets a very unpleasant demise at the hands of, well, basically XVM helping me out here. Now again, aggressive mentality, my team are, are kind of cheering me on in chat a bit, a handy SU-100 why god why eats a shell for us there. <coughs> and just forward, 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 I can't afford to wait around. Archie misses us barely again. Just try by the Amex. And now start chasing the Panzer 24 and the building. But uh, this one mounted turret coming in handy again. I don't think this guy was expecting us to be able to snap the shot off like that. Now we're going to be able to use our 80mm of side armor to avoid taking damage the archer while hoping to be able to put a shot out in turn. 
And there we go. Even with a low mold taking over half the health off that tier 5 tank destroyer. This gun is absolutely brutal. Now in this situation. I could probably rush him and rely on my frontal armor, but in this situation, if I was the archer, I would have loaded gold, I would know where my arty is, I'd just kite. I I want to I want in this situation I I wanna avoid feeling helpless. I wanna avoid feeling like I'm playing into their hands, so I always wanna be challenging the enemy team. I want to do something to make a maneuver that empowers me to to make me feel like I'm in the driver's seat. And so instead of just yellowing towards the enemy team, I'm gonna relocate and I'm gonna go for the artillery to see if I can catch the enemy off guard. And I've got over eight minutes left to win this game. There's plenty of time for me to maneuver. There's plenty of time for me to outplay these enemy tanks so when you go up and over the hill and in these situations taking out the arty can make your game a hell of a lot easier because no longer we have to think about constantly moving your position you've only got to worry about tanks having a direct line of sight on you and not just the arty skying a shell over a building and ending your game now my original plan was to go to their base and take out their RT, but I, I just had a feeling. And I was looking at this open land, and I was thinking, is this archer there? If I, if I drive up with my ass towards him, am I going to get spotted by the archer? I Can I really take out the RT with this much health if, if I meet him around a corner? I didn't think I could, so I wanted sort of halfway to the enemy archer. I changed my mind and I was thinking more that I should take out the archer and then try and draw the arty into my engagement. And as it happens, the archie when you're locating to the cat, not sitting on his ass and doing nothing. And there is the archer, both targets spotted. I am in cover, cover from the archie. But I know that I'm not going to be able to work my gun depression in that location. So I'm going to relocate again. Trying to get a jump on the enemy team, making sure that they don't know where I'm coming from. Th this is our mentality. I shouldn't have knocked that tree over there. It was a bad play. I'm trying to confuse the enemy team to make them feel uncomfortable. I want to make them feel like they're, they're being hunted. You know, and... Hopefully, due to that pressure, they're going to start making mistakes and I can outplay them not so much from my skill, but from their mistakes. And you can have all the skill in the world, but if your enemies don't make mistakes when you're on this low health, it's going to be very difficult for you to pull out a win. So first push position, I try on the top of the hill, doesn't get us anything. But I am going to try a different angle. I know that they're both in the capture circle at this point. So if I can pop up on the flank. Still no spots. There is a rather large amount of foliage in between the hill and the cap circle. And it's just covered in buildings and opaque cover. And so at this point... 25 seconds on the cap, and I'm not interested in losing this game at this point. So, here we go. And catching the archer, just looking the other way. We were last spotted over there. Our decision to relocate just managed to get us the archer on a silver platter. We keep our speed up, getting cover behind the building. <coughs> We're waiting till we're unspotted. And now we're going to do the exact same thing again. I never want to be in the position where I was last spotted. Because all that allows... All that will happen is that 
it will allow the enemy to start thinking that we're on a level playing field, that he can start to outplay and outmaneuver us. And I'm in the medium tank. My speed and my mobility is my absolute advantage over an arty in this kind of situation. And now this is problematic. If I were to sideswipe, he would undoubtedly be able to kill me. So what I'm actually trying to do at this point is I'm trying to fall back behind this arc so that I can disengage and get a new position to engage in. But <clears throat> I keep trying it and sort of steadily realizing that if I do try and go past the neck of that VK that he is going to kill me. So I'm trying to think what to do and then I see the neck of this 5100 here or AMX M445 that we created earlier and I'm thinking well if that's not handy I don't know what is it enables us to close the distance now we've taken care of one problem he cannot cap now that we are inside the cap circle so all we need to worry about now is trying to make him make a misplay and that was it right there I have been in this situation many many times I know how it works when you turn like this and you're this close to the building you can't turn you have trapped yourself it would take an absolute age for this guy to turn his tank around because he's so close to the wall look at him he cannot traverse his tracks and I see that and I am not interested in waiting around Lick it around the corner and a 107mm this cannon does not mess around this time with its alpha damage. Rolling for 270 and finishing off the game. And so hopefully, gentlemen, that's given you a bit of an idea of, of the details of what was going through my head. Um, other than, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, while I was playing this game. There will be the link to the live game in the description. You can look at the post battle results there. And um until next time, gentlemen. I'm I'm killing Poodle, what the hell? Ah, a centurion! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go, buddy. Have a bat chat. You're welcome. Yeah! Yeah! Um, don't mind me! <laughs> oh no, they killed him. Ah, then wow. Let me apologise while I endure my constant death.